The Add Draft tool within Carveco Maker Plus allows you to add angles or remove angles to sidewalls. It's a quite straightforward tool to use. Now here you can see that I've got a star that I've created and it's a relief. If I rotate around, you can see that it's got all straight edges. Now, what if I wanted to create angled edges? To use this tool, as I said, it's quite straightforward. If you click here to add draft, and it opens up the dialog box, and you can either add material or you can remove material, and then you just enter the angle that you want to add or remove to the sidewalls. Let's say that I want to add material 20 degrees, select apply, and it adds a 20 degree angle around the edge. If I undo that, remove material 20 degrees, it will do the opposite and it will make the model smaller. Now what's really good about this tool is that no matter the amount of detail, it will add draft or add an angle to the edges quite quickly. You can see this relief that I have here and all of the edges are pretty much straight. The anklers here do have an angle on them, but the sidewalls here do not. So if I were to go to add draft, and let's say that I want to go back to 20 degrees, select apply, and it will automatically add the draft to all of those walls. Now again, if you've imported a relief or an STL, this will work on the whole model. So here you can see I have quite a detailed model here. And if I go to add draft, and let's say that I want to add 10 degrees to this and apply, it will just add this to the whole model. And it sort of beefs up the model and gives it more strength. You can see that the text that I have on this model, maybe if I were to machine it, especially out of wood, it would all break out. So maybe if I add a 20 degree angle to that, it makes it a little bit more substantial. Now you can also do this to certain areas. Now let's say for example, I only wanted to do the angle on the text and the fleur de lis at the top. So if I undo that, turn on my vectors, I've already created a vector here. And what I'm going to do is cookie cut this and then I'm going to hide the clip art and also hide the vectors. Now, what I can do now is if I add the material to this, it will only do it on the relief that's there. So any of the yellow bits. So if I select apply now, it just works on those portions. I can turn on the clip art again, press enter, paste it down and it hasn't done the draft on all of the other parts just the text this is also really useful if you're machining reliefs that have a lot of straight walls on them the reason being is that the tool doesn't crash into the sidewalls or it doesn't try to get down where it hasn't been roughed out. So in this example, you can see that I've got this angel and there are portions of this where the roughing tool, which is a quarter of an inch end mill, won't actually get into. And then I've got a sixteenth of an inch ball nose and I know that that's going to try to get in there. So if I just simulate the roughing, you can see that it's got a lot of it, but there are certain areas where the ball nose will try to get in. 
and take quite a large cut and it could break the tool. So if I go to the 16th of an inch ball nose and let's simulate this with the control bar and I select play. Just zoom in. Now you can see that the tool is going right the way down this edge. And you can see there are certain areas where it's taking quite a large chunk of material off. This isn't too bad, but when it gets to an area where that quarter of an inch end mill can't get in, it will take quite a large amount off. So I'm just going to fast forward this a moment. And let's take a look here. Now I know here it's going to jump into there. So you can see here it's taking a really, really large portion of material off. And there's a chance that the tool could break there. So let me fast forward again. And there's also a hole somewhere here. And I know that it's going to try to get in there. So you see there, it's going all the way down into that hole where the quarter of an inch just couldn't get. So again, that could break the tool as well. And there's also a section up here by the head. So if I fast forward that. Now you can see it just getting into there. So it's just literally going right the way down there. So again, it could cause us problems. So what I'm going to do with this is add draft to this model. So I haven't got these steep sidewalls. So let's close the control bar and delete the simulation. So now what I'm going to do is add some draft to this. Now let's take a look at this portion here because this portion, the tool was definitely going down there. So let's add draft. And I'll do it quite drastically, let's say 20 degrees. Click apply and it will add the draft to those areas. And you can see now that it's not dropping right the way down there. Now you can also see that it's added quite a lot of draft to this. But if I were to recalculate this now, And I'll just close that and then let's simulate the roughing and then simulate the ball nose. You can see that it's coming down at an angle and it's not taking as much of a cut off. So let me fast forward this up until some of these areas that were quite pronounced. So let's say here, and it's still taking a large chunk off, but it's coming down and it's gradually taking that large amount off. It's not just in one whack. And let's fast forward until we get up to the head. And you can see that it's not going to jump down into there now. It's just slowly, gradually going down.
So that's the add draft tool within Carve Code Maker. Allowing you to add angles to your sidewalls. 